Hey, how's it going guys? It is Stinger11 Studios back at ya with his third video of this year. That sounds very terrible. Anyway, we recently hit another milestone of 3,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. That I can't believe the support lately, even though I've been pretty inactive working on Valor 3, which uh, I said I would finish like a month ago. I said I'd finish the script in the next week. Well, uh, uh, that didn't happen. I'm putting a lot of time and a lot of effort into writing this script, and I am still working on it. I've written 20 pages so far, and we're still coming, but I hope it will come out sometime soon, maybe, uh, actually, I don't want to make any promises, because they don't usually end well. But when it does, in fact, come out, it will be worth the wait. I really hope that you guys will enjoy it, and I think you will, since I'm putting, putting so much time and effort into this. Anyway, enough of Valor 3. Back into what I'm doing today. As you can probably tell by the title, I'm going to showcase my whole entire Halo Mega Constructs collection that I've been collecting over the years. I figured, since it's been like 11 months since I made a new Halo Mega Constructs video, which was a stop motion, I feel really bad for you guys, and thank you for all your patience. Finally, some new content is here, and I'm going to be showcasing my entire collection, which I figure you Halo fans out there will, if in fact, enjoy. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Starting off front and center, we have the man, the myth, the legend himself, the Master Chief in the flesh. Wait, that joke didn't make sense. He is, of course, leading our collection because who better to lead off your army of Halo Mega Constructs than the center of the Halo universe himself. Starting off on the first row, we have all of our named figures, including Dr. Halsey and Cortana, the Master Chief statue, Kelly, what I have of Noble Team, which is everybody but George, sadly, still waiting to get that figure, and then on the end, we have Buck. Continuing our name figures in the second row, we have what I have of Alpha 9, which is everybody but Mickey and Buck in ODST form. From there, we get into our ODST figures, which I have a lot of them from the new drop pod sets, some from blind bags. The one on the end there might look a little bit familiar to you guys, I don't know. Then we continue with our ODSTs on this third row, which the ODSTs are my favorite figures, so I do have quite a bit of them. After our last old articulation ODST, we get into our Marines, starting with two officers and then our Halo 4 style Marines, which are not the best, not my favorite, but they still are pretty cool. That one's missing his chest plate, so sadly it broke, but I still thought I'd include him anyway. After the Halo 4 Marines, we get into my favorite Marines, which is the Halo Wars style Marine. A lot of these are from blind bags, the four you see back there are from the Battle for the Arc packs, they're really cool. Then we get into our Halo 3 style marines, starting out with four from A New Dawn, blind bags, and then one from, I think it's Maverick, I, mean, I, can't, I can't remember what that one's from. Then we get into our Spartans, which I have quite a bit of, starting out with our Reach ones in the front, and then I just went off a of color because I was too lazy to organize them by the style of their armor because I'm a very lazy person. So we have quite a few yellow, we have two purple Hermes from Delta, we have one aqua recon color, then we have special scouts, a lot of white, and then some blue, and then a large quantity of red at the back. And at the very back we have our old articulation, some of them are missing pieces, but they're so rare and iconic to me that I thought I'd include them, and then our active camo. Total, we have 91 UNSC figures on display here. I have a couple more, but they're kind of in pieces, so I didn't think I'd include them. A nice amount for me. I'm very happy with it, and I hope my collection just keeps growing from here. On the Covenant side of our collection, we have our named figures in the front, including the Prophet of Mercy, Active Camo Arbiter, Jewel Mandama, the Ship Master, Tartarus, and of course, Flippy Up the Destroyer on the very end there. On the second row, we have our grunts, including quite a few new articulation ones, all of different color. And then behind them, we have four white old articulation grunts from the whole box of Foxtrot that I got back in the day. And finally, two Spec Ops grunts. Now we get into our jackals, starting off with one new articulation, three old articulation, all Halo 4 style. Two skirmishers, and behind them we have the Brutes, my least favorite Halo figure because of how hard they are to put on a stud. We have one new articulation captain, two old articulation captains, a couple miners, and a couple of banished. Then we get into our unhealthy amount of elites, but I don't care, I love these figures so much. They're my favorite Covenant Force and my second favorite figure overall after the ODST. We have a nice amount of commanders behind them, a very large number of zealots, one custom, but I thought I'd include them anyway three orange ones from the Foxtrot box that I got. There's just so many. Behind them we have one purple new articulation, one purple old articulation, which is kind of cool. Then we have three rangers, not my favorite elite figure, but not the worst. 
Then we have our miners, which I do love these figures, especially the silver one in the front. It's my favorite. Behind them, we have two blue, two purple, and two orange sort of St. Helios miners, and then one copper in the back. Then we have two purple old articulation Halo 3 style elites, as well as an active camo brute miner, the only active camo covenant figure I have. Then a very de disappointing and depressing amount of flood figures. We have an infected Spartan, and then two infection forms. Getting back to our drones, we have one red major in the front, and then behind him we have three green drones as well as three yellow drones. Behind the drones we have a few Prometheans including three crawlers and one watcher. A very small Promethean collection but they're not my favorite so I don't have too many. Combining Covenant, Prometheans, and Flood, we have 73 figures in total, which is a very satisfying amount for me. It's not the largest, not the best, but I'm very happy with it. For our grand total number of figures, we have 164. Like I said, not the biggest, not the best collection out there, but it is my personal collection, so it is very special to me, and I'm very happy I got to share it all with you. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching and for 3,000 subscribers. The support lately has been absolutely incredible. I appreciate it. Valor 3 is on its way. I promise I am working as hard as I can on it. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I will see you all in the next one. Have a good day.